This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate flight sim hardware solution. Featuring the Orion Hull test, current and future configurations. Hello, valued viewers. I hope you're all doing very well. Today's request is from Hemant Sharma. Hi, Cap. Can you do a video on whether a swing wing plane, vlogger, an aardvark, a tomcat, can attain more altitude in level flight, so ceiling, we're looking for proper ceiling, if the wings are kept in a straight configuration slash unswept. So it's asking, can we go higher, maintain higher with our wings out as opposed to with our wings swept back? I'll do my prediction, then you do yours, I see. Well, I'm just thinking a glider is most aerodynamically efficient because it has long unswept wings. Also, a two can go very high with very little thrust, comparatively little, because of its long, thin, straight wings. So my thinking is that it will probably generate more lift and therefore go higher if it has its wings out straight. What would you think, RC? I would agree with you. Thinking about it, the only comeback to that is what's higher than a U2, an SR-71 is, which has essentially swept wings. So that doesn't make any sense at all, but that does have a lot of thrust, a lot of thrust. That's a tough one. You know what? I don't think this is going to be as easy as we're making it out because when you get a plane going really fast the aerodynamics work differently to a glider anyway um do you want to do wings we'll out? out do you want to do wings out or do you want to do wings back uh i'll do wings out okay i'm going to do wings back otherwise the test is perfectly equal we've both got basically zero fuel as you can see we've both we've got fuel burn turned off so we can just go forever and get a perfect test environmental is isa conditions but it doesn't matter because we're in the same conditions that's about it we're going to go and see who can uh do the best so you've got to force your wings forward put it in automatic mode and force yeah. it forward i've got to go and get busy and do mine so stand by all right i'm forcing mine forcing mine back if i can get that to work back they go fully back all the way back look at that 65 degrees 75 degrees whatever it is i can't remember Okay, I'll see you sit off first and I'll follow you. Go. Go. Oh, look at that. This plane accelerates so stupidly fast. Traffic, F14, 12 o'clock, I, one mile. Oh, the, the, the center of lift changes so much. I'm so nose heavy like this, it's crazy. Like a bullet. Well, I'm going to be much less draggy than RC, that's for sure. So I should catch him up pretty quickly. Theoretically, anyway. Although it appears he's actually going fastest, which is a bit weird. Okay, bye RC. See you later. <laughs> right, I'm going for my climb anyway. I'll see you in hell. Right, watch that altimeter rise, valued viewers. 7,000 feet, 8,000 feet, 9,000 feet. Uh, it doesn't matter. We're so light on fuel that okay. um, I don't think it's going to matter. I don't think we're going to get any engine unstarts or anything. I don't. We've got the, we've got the modern F110 engines in. So, Interesting question, though. Uh, place your bets, valued stream viewers. Who do you think is going to go higher, maintain higher? Uh, wings back or wings forward. I think there's arguments for both. SR-71 argument and the glider argument. Value viewers think forward. They think forward. Well, we'll see. One thing's for sure, I'm certainly going to go faster. I'm not able to keep... What are you, I can't keep my speed. Uh, don't ask me. Yeah, well, let me just bring my tank down here. You, you're just going to... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know enough about That's it good. to make any useful drag comments. On me. You got, got a lot of drag. drag. You got Weeks. a lot of drag. Yep. Yeah. I see you. You're still in cons. Look at that. Oh, that's RC down there, everyone. Hi, RC. You're not doing that bad, actually. Right, I'm at 50,000 feet, and I feel that I've got a lot of legs left, so I'm going to go for a bit of a push. Again, his stall speed is going to be a lot lower than mine, so he can probably afford to go slower, whereas I can't. If I go slow, I'm going to drop out the sky. You'll have to get your actual parameters from the outside view, F2 view. I'm gonna have to level out at some point and get some uh, get some speed back because I am slowing down now. Just not enough air for the engines to suck in to make enough power. All right, where's the VSI? There's the VSI. Let's level her off. Get some speed back in. There's no time limit on this, so we can take as long as we want. Um, in terms of slickness, we've removed all of the things that we can remove. We've removed the Phoenix pallets, but we can't remove the uh, the wing glove pylons. 
Yeah, I'm stuck at an awkward speed. I'm going to do a dive to get some speed back. Oh, I'm stuck at 200 knots now. I can't get faster than 200 knots. Yep. Same here at... Angle of attack, 7.1 degrees. It's quite 50, a lot. 000. Yeah, I'm at a high angle. I'm surfing at 7 degrees angle of attack. That's annoying. Come on. Come on, little Tomcat. We can do better. And take a hit of a few thousand feet just to try and get 250 knots back. Okay, I'm back to 250 knots. I'm going to climb again. Let's see if we can get some... Uh, some slightly better seeding. I'm still surfing. Come on. Big plane. The 8,000. And I'm running out of airspeed very quickly now. I have to leave off the aft stick. 8 degrees angle of attack. The plane is struggling now. That's about it. That's my ceiling. Where are you? Just, just finalising it now. Just going to be just under 60. I'm in a sweet spot where I'm not losing speed, but I'm gaining altitude. We'll see how high you can go. It will equal itself out at some point. It's going to take me a while. And I'm at 55,000 now. That's pretty much my ceiling there. I'm right on the edge of the stool. At 59,000. I've got 59,000. Okay. I'm just going to write that down. Right. You try and maximum yours out. I'm actually going to transition to wings out and see if I can maintain this. Oh, it changes. Oh, everything changes. Whoa, go on, Bennett. That changes a lot. What speed speed are you maintaining with wings out? True speed? Uh, uh, sorry, uh, I, I'm in altitude. Oh, altitude right now is uh, 55,000, but I'm climbing. No. But slowly. 175 is my airspeed on it. It's horrible with the wings out. It doesn't feel right at all. Much, much, much happier with the wings back. I guess it's just not designed to be up here with the wings out. I don't know. I don't know if that's true. That's what it feels like. It goes all, almost impossible to control the pitch. I'm getting, it's getting out of control here. What have you got to? I'm at 57. I'm at... 58 and I'm losing control as well. It feels like 57, 58 is the maximum for wings yep. out. And weirdly, a tiny bit higher. Right, you go and try wings uh, back now and see what you get. You'll find it's a lot easier. Yeah, I've Let's topped out of 58,000. I can't get any higher. If anything, I'm going to, I'm diving slightly. I'm going to try something. I'm going to just try a high speed run with the wings back. Just to make sure we haven't oh, missed anything. Harder. No, I got it. Right, I've got wings back. I'm going to do a Mach 2 run and see if that makes any difference. I doubt it will. Because like, you, can't, you can't achieve Mach 2 up these altitudes anyway. Mach 1.3, Mach 1.4. Mach 1.5, Mach 1.6. Mach 1.7, Mach 1.8. Mark 1.9. Okay, I got to Mark 1.9. I'm going to do a very slow ascent now and see if it helps. I very much doubt it will do. I don't think there's any reason why it should help uh, change the ceiling. Remember, we're not looking for instantaneous altitude. The chap asked, Mr. Sharma asked for the ceiling, which means sustainable altitude and set parameters. So if we set about 2,000 feet per minute, that means about five minutes to climb 10,000 feet. Maintaining Mark 1.9 in the climb. It's actually very impressive for an aircraft to do that. Very happy up here. 49,000 maintaining above Mark 1.9. This is with the small engines. This is with the 110s as well. Imagine if you had the mighty TF-30s in here. From the A model. Heading through Angels 50 now. Still above Mark 1.9. So things are looking good for Tomcat. Over 50,000. Oh, hang on. 51, remember to get the speed from the external view. It's from the, sorry, the altitude from the external view. That's the GPS. 51,000 feet. Mark 1.85. Plane is shuddering. Yep, it means it's on the edge. Angle of attack. If it's shuddering, you're doing it right. AOA is at 11. Wow, that's impressive. That's not sustainable, though. 54,000, Mark 1.85. That's. And with 61.5. 
Is it sustainable? Make sure you sustain it. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, fine. Wow. All right, I've got a little whilst to go yet. Yeah, I'm still Mark 1.8, still climbing. Uh, 55,000. 63,000. AOA is it? Yeah, 13. I'm going to try and beat that. Mark 1.8 at 58,000. Oh, no, my AOA is going to go right. way up. I'm, I'm, I'm starting. Yeah. So. AOA is 17 now. No, that's still winning. <laughs> Lost it. <laughs> I still got it. I'm maintaining, but hey, man, the plane is shaking. Sixty thousand. Yeah, that's it. So that was right at sixty-three thousand. More job. Two degrees angle of attack. It's because it got so fast. Mark one point seven. Come on, baby, hold together, hold together. Sixty-two thousand feet. I am losing airspeed. I'm gonna level the VSI off soon. Sixty-three thousand. Angle of attack is getting too high. Mark 1.7, three degrees angle of attack. Can someone tell me the official ceiling of this plane, please? So I can see how close we've got to it. I know it won't be this model, it'll be the A model, but seven. Okay, speed's coming down too quickly, now I need to level out. I'm at 63, 64,000. Well, apparently the maximum altitude is 53,000 for this, so we've done a lot better than that. Yeah. Obviously, we're, we're a magic mode with no fuel, so the rule, they could never do that, but. Okay, I'm at what I would consider to be our maximum sustainable now. 60, 63,000. I'm punching out at Mark 1.7. We had some really interesting results there, Value Viewers, and they're amazingly similar, which is good. If you're getting similar data, it means you're doing repeatable experiments, which is empirical science. With wings forwards, the maximum RC could get was 57,000 feet, and that's GPS altitude. The maximum I could get was 58,000 feet, almost identical with the wings forward. And the speed we could attain was very low, like 160 indicated airspeed. Wings back, RC could maintain around 63 before he turned into a surfboard and just fell out of the sky. I could maintain about 63 as well. I, I get the feeling the maybe 62 would be a bit more accurate. Um, so 62, 63,000 feet, and neither of us could maintain higher than that so about 5,000 feet higher you can do with your wings back which is exactly the opposite of what we thought my interpretation of the reason why it can sustain higher with the wings back is because it can carry a lot more speed carries more speed you get a bit of ram effect in the engine you get a bit more power in the engines if it's going slow you've got almost no power being produced by those engines so there's more energy in the jet in the cycle with my wings back. That's my interpretation of why it can go higher. Still, if you ask me to guess so, I would still probably guess wings out because of you too, because of glider. Really interesting. Follow up thoughts on that RC? Nope. Let me know your thoughts, valued viewers, if you think that's right or wrong, uh, and let me know uh, your thoughts on the science. I hope you enjoyed that and see you later.